Thank you, Madam Speaker. Provinces and countries around the world are removing mandates and restrictions that lack compassion and empathy and are not in line with our allies and other G7 countries. Is the Prime Minister waiting to once again be the last to act? For the last two years, Canadians have been continually let down by this Liberal government. It is time for Canada to have a clear path out of this pandemic. Canadians have sacrificed to keep our communities safe, but now they're being ignored and discredited. When will they stop dividing and end the mandates? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank my honourable colleague for the question. And ever since the beginning of this pandemic, all Canadians have wanted to know when it will be over and when we can go back to way, the way that things were. And I count myself among them. I'm eager to get back to normal as well. The reality is we'll continue to do what's right for Canadians and keep people safe throughout this pandemic. Different jurisdictions have handled things differently, and we've seen that every step of the way. This includes some jurisdictions across this country, which we've been there to support, and different countries who have had much worse outcomes in in some cases, and, and even in, with more restrictions. Uh, I'm proud of the fact... Honourable that Member for Fort McMurray, Colton. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Unfortunately, there are no gold medals for spin doctoring. This Prime Minister has stumbled from failure to failure on the COVID-19 response, and he seems to have forgotten the most pressing need for Canadian families, a foreseeable and successful re return to normal public life. Yes. Instead of dismissing and stigmatizing Canadians who voice valid concerns, he needs to rise above politicizing this pandemic and provide answers. When will the Liberal government stop alienating those he disagrees with and find a way to... Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And personal attacks aside, I'm proud of Team Canada, and I give them a quick little shout-out uh, over at the Winter Olympics, and I'm sure all of the members in this House are proud of our team. I don't know why you should want to take a, take a personal dig at me for that. The reality is we want to continue to support Canadians. We want to keep them safe, healthy, and alive. We have to recognize this pandemic is not over, and we need to continue to trust science, encourage our neighbours to get vaccinated. I understand how frustrated Canadians are. I count myself among them, but we need to stay focused.